Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy, Steven Trufanoski, back at it at Triff Gaming. I am sorry for the week I took off, boys. I've been doing stuff with life. I've been getting stuff ready for life. I've been revamping the YouTube. I haven't been lifting. I've been eating pizza and stuff all day. But that's all good. Want to know why? Because I'm still going to get shredded, boys. I'm still going to get shredded. And so are you guys. Thank you guys for sticking with me for the past week and a half. I took off. Uh, I will now release daily videos every day like I promised starting now. And today we got an amazing one for you guys. Exodia Pendulum FTK. Exodia Pendulum FTK. I know you guys miss the FTKs or hate them. You love them or hate them. I hate them, but I love this one. Exodia Pendulums. Me and Jesse Cotton, the two biggest, greatest, smartest minds in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, got together to create this genius idea for you guys. We're going to go right into it. Before we get to it, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out YGOMarket.com down below. They gifted us 20 beautiful mats. We're going to be doing a new giveaway as well. Every single 1,000 subs I get, guys, I'm releasing a new mat as a giveaway for you guys as appreciation because I love all the support you guys give me. Every 1,000 subs, I'm going to pick a random lucky winner for one of these amazing, amazing new mats that uh, YGO Market gifted us. Uh, thank you, Ray. Uh, he's amazing. Make sure to check it out for your best singles as well. Also, shout out to Team Samurai X20. He's my boy. I wouldn't be here without you. And welcome back to the grind. Daily videos every day. And we're going to get to 100,000 subscribers before any YouTuber ever did in history. All right? 100,000 subscribers is the goal. We're going to get there in one year. Mark my words. Now, let's get. make sure to subscribe. You're going to be uh, automatically in, entered into our giveaway. And let's go right into it. Our Exodia Pendulum. FTK. Hi guys, we got an amazing video for you guys today. It is the Jesse Cotton over here. Good guys. Along with, you already know, the Pen God himself. But what happens when you get one genius in Jesse Cotton, the biggest genius in the planet, in Steven Trifonasi, the Pen God, combine both their brains in one, and what do you get from that, Jesse? You get uh, the sickest pendulum deck ever. You get the sickest pendulum deck ever, but not just a pendulum deck. Why don't you explain to the viewers what type of pendulum deck is this? So, we're gonna play Pendulum Exodia. Pendulum Exodia. First turn, all five pieces to your hand. Hand easy. trap, Consistent. no problem. Consistent, easy. Three Electrums, it's already Exodia, but now it's guaranteed Exodia. So we're gonna show you the combo tutorial right now. So before we do that, subscribe and enjoy greatness. Let's go, Jesse. So we're gonna shuffle the deck. I will cut it a million times. 60 cards, because that's the way. We're going to shuffle like crazy, right? Average yeah. hand? Average hand, let's go. How confident are you it's going to happen? Pretty confident. Pretty confident, AK 100%. <laughs> so, let's see it. So, we open Ravine. All right, so, so, so. Just look at this hand. This is obviously the, the FTK, right? Yes. Yes. Soul Charge is the way we do the FTK. You'll see it later. We'll explain it later. But Soul Charge is too easy to have the FTK with. Having Soul Charge in your hand makes it too easy. So we're actually going to put this back. Garbage, and go back. <laughs> and we're going to draw another card. We can do card. it without Soul Charge. Who needs Soul Charge? We're going to search it anyways. All right, one for one. There Which we go. Will kind of suck because we already have the Kepler, the main well, target for it. No way. Ravine, that's true, that's true. So, so we're good. Obviously, you see some new cards in here, but we'll let the man Jesse Cotton take it from here. Let's go, Jesse. Let's Exodia, though. So where do we go from here? Okay, let's start off with Ravine. Discard this one for one. We already have Kepler in our hand. We gotta look through our 60 card deck forever to find the card we need. <laughs> Dark Lurm summon. And get our gate zero if I can find it. There you go. And obviously, if we if they didn't open the Kepler, we would activate one for one to get Kepler alive, but uh, yeah, we, we already have it. Uh, we don't play Thomas because we were really tight on, on cards in our main deck, so we just got another Kepler. Uh, one less card to pop with election might, but it's all good. Uh, what's nice about Ravine is you can pop with Electromite too, so. Yeah. Free pops. We get our first Electromite. Sand, we don't have a Chrono, so that's the first obvious one. Ooh, actually, we should alert before we Electrum, see if we can draw the Chrono. That's true, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before that, we definitely, so we'll put these back. Definitely. Yeah, these, these are on the field, Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Exodia. Oh, Exodia number one. This will make our drop slightly easier. So, what would you get rid of here? Uh, the Kepler is useless. Yeah, yeah. The Kepler's gone. Uh, we can go Slines. Yeah. Get a Pendulum Call. Uh, we can discard the head of Exodia. Uh, if you can't discard the other Exodia pieces, 
necessarily. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. The head doesn't matter. Um, now we make a lecture. Right? Sending the chronograph. Uh, also, just so you guys know, the point of uh, the deck, you go triple electrum as always, you stick to the game plan. Stick to the game plan. Stick to the game plan, you already know. So we're gonna, <laughs> this is one of three so far. Uh, when you get three, you have Exodia. So three electrums, literally, I used to say this a lot, it li actually literally equals five pieces of Exodia. And we're gonna prove it now. So, what are you gonna do next after that, bro? Alright, Steven, what do you think we do? Do you think we pop the Katina spells or we play a scale? Uh, I think because of the lack of... You know, I'm actually pen calling right off the bat, to be honest. Want to pen call right off the bat? Sure, yeah. I can dig it. So go to that Exodia head. Yeah, we're not gonna put scales in the like magician scales in the thing, anyways. We could play with like what we summon. Harmonizing an oath. I think after you know what? Pop. Uh, okay, the only card we're ever gonna pop. Uh, we're gonna pop pop. Probably if, pop one of the scales, right? What if we just pop ravine? Yeah, I'm gonna pop a mean first check. So Chrono summon. It says nothing. Uh, that's Actually, no, you know what? No, no, no. I, I was boosted by that. Let's pop a uh, scale first to draw. Yeah, that's so what I was thinking. So we know what to work with. Pop right? the exact them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're drawing a card. Who cares? Oh, that that was obviously a horrible draw, but we'll keep going. Electra might. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna second electrum search. Skip the harmonizing. Yeah. Uh, scale two. Yeah. Add back harmonizing. Yeah. Electrum will pop the contract. Yeah. Back your chronograph. Special yeah. harmonizing. Election number three. Stick to the game plan. No <laughs> different than usual. Uh, we need to send a six now. Yeah. We need two sixes for the combo in our yeah. deck. We only have one right now. Yeah. So you need so, two level sixes. You need a pendulum summon two. You gotta go three electrums. Firewall in the middle. Yeah. Summon two level sixes and then add a harmonizing to your hand with the yes. last electrum. Which is also so, why the ravines are beautiful. Because even if you pen call, you can just pop it right now. Yeah, so we're all set up right now. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. will pop the ravine. Get the harmonizing yeah. in our hands. So we have a harmonizing in hand, the two yeah. sixes, yeah. and we just make a fire right here. So, and we'll show you the new spice yeah. with pendulum. <laughs> How we can get any cards in our deck and all the possibilities yeah. we're discovering. Uh, yeah. We're gonna make a lot of new combo videos because we got yeah. a lot of ideas right now. Yeah, yeah. But, it's uh, honestly insane. Like with the release of sources, I'm in mean, sorcerers and pendulums. A lot. With two uh, electrons being fire, you just go two electrons. It's absolutely insane. You can literally do anything you want. Any card in Yu-Gi-Oh is fair game. You can literally the pendulum now say take any cards you want from your deck and summon them wherever you want in the field. Then you can do anything. It's insane. Yeah. So uh, continue. You get the two chronos, the sixes, and then harmonizing. Yeah. And it's gonna get any level four um, magician monster here. I am non tuner so sure, back thing doesn't matter. Um, this is what gets crazy. So, you know how we said Soul Charge was instant combo? Well, yeah, we can just get Soul Charge, yeah. that's no problem. <laughs> I know this says send to the graveyard, <laughs> easy. Pendulum cards, too broken. We can get our boy Enlightened Paladin out, uh, which says when Synchro Summoned, we use the Magician Monster, you just get to add uh, any soul, soul, exactly. soul, soul charge. charge. Yeah, yeah. See, this one gets even crazier. <laughs> so, so we have two lights on the field with different types. I'm smelling a curious right now. We just need one more light. So we link these two away. <laughs> get a Zeph, get a Zeph from Metaltron. Three different, three different lights, different types. Yeah. Getting oh, you're curious. Right. The soul yeah. charge is gonna be insane. Yeah. <laughs> and now this is how we make Exodia. You ready? Uh, treasure Panda. <laughs> so what this card does is says uh, we can banish a spell from the graveyard, especially someone uh, normal level one vanilla from the deck. You can banish more spells at once and summon a higher level from vanilla, but why would you? That sucks. That and is not once per turn. No. So Let's we can technically out. summon like eight of eight Exodia Bro. pieces from the deck. Let's check how many spells we have right now in the grave. There's seven spells right now, plus eight after we activate Soul Charge, plus Curious's Mill if we feel like using it if we didn't have spells. That's eight spells. Yeah, like, so... That's insane. We need three spells before the Soul Charge for this combo to work, but that's why our deck is built this way with the Dragon Ravines and yeah. such. Even though we had Dragon Shrine, doesn't matter. You can work yeah. on that stuff, it's still a full combo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 30 spell cards to do this yeah. combo. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is in the graveyard now. Yeah. And we have five open spots for this beautiful soul charge. Yeah. <laughs> See, they're winning now. They're three, we're at 3,000 light points, but not for long. <laughs> so, firewall is going to come back. We're going to put that uh, under one of the columns. It has to be under one of the columns. Um, and then Pando has to be under the other one. And then you're going to get three other monsters. Electromite is typically the best just because it is, does the most. Yeah. Although, it doesn't really matter. So, you get it like this. Yeah. And now, we're going to link these two. We're still doing a bunch of the link shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, so it gets kind of unfair. 
So we're gonna get a griffin, and then we're gonna link these two way for a goblin, and then we're gonna use our pandas effect. So we're gonna banish a soul charge first, doesn't matter what spell. Yeah. Uh, special summon. First Exodia piece from the deck. And Panda's not once per turn, by the way, so you can do this as nope. many times as you want. So we're just gonna summon another Exodia piece from the deck. Yeah. And it doesn't matter which order to get these Exodia pieces out in. So I got two Exodia pieces, link them away. Where's my next deck? And we're gonna get our Cerberus here. And uh, now we can use Firewall's effect. Put back these two Exodia pieces and a self back next deck because we're gonna use it again. Yeah. Firewall, I know it's out one. It's still broken. That card needs to get banned too. Um, so yeah, broken, so now man. we have two exotic pieces, yeah. three more to go. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, panda, one, no, we can't, uh, Panda yet? Yeah, Panda now. So Panda now, one more spell. Special summon another Exodia piece over here. And then another Exodia piece. So banish four spells now. And now you've gotten to all four Exodia pieces. Alright, so here we're gonna make summon sorceress. This card is insane. I like the two fiends away. Uh, another combo is use two electro mines for two fiends works fine. For summon sorceress over here, so it points to your left arm and forbidden one, or it can be any of the Exodia pieces. So typically here you can summon a head and then you have all five pieces of Exodia. Yeah. Because we already had it in the graveyard, you just get any uh, spellcaster or dark monster from the deck and it's fine. Yeah. Uh, so Jackal's good. And that's what's also sick, like even if you open one of the pieces, it doesn't matter. Like Opening any of these pieces don't matter. We opened the head, it clearly didn't matter. We could have yeah. summoned it right here. The other pieces are a little worse because you because uh, it means that you can't summon them with Treasure Pander. Yeah. All it means though is that when you Soul Charge back to Electromites, you have to, if you haven't penned them called, you have to pop your scales to add monster to your hand to yeah. summon a firewall. Yeah. That way you can have enough uh, yeah. link momentum to do the full combo. Yeah. So, which yeah. was e it's easy, we could have done yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, this time you yeah. couldn't have because of Pendulum Call and then because yeah. we did the Dead Dragon Shrine. Yeah. But say we hadn't had that unfortunate luck, we would have been completely fine. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're at this point now. Um, all our good pieces are in play somewhere, just gotta get them to our hand. So, we're gonna link these two way now. We get our, the Firewall Dragon, we put back an extra deck. It's right back again. Yeah. And then we're gonna link our Noble Monster to a Link Spider. Our two monsters left, easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> and do Phoenix. That's three bounces. <laughs> three pieces in the grave. One, two, and three. Ooh. And you have lost. You guys see it right there. Five pieces. My boy Exodia. Where's his left arm? There's his left arm. Where's his right arm? Boom. Right foot. Left. Boom. There you have it. Pendulums searching Exodia. The genius himself, Jesse Cotton. The pen god himself, Steven Trifonoski. You guys are welcome for this creation. Bro, is this gonna win worlds? <laughs> well, considering Electromite is on one, we cannot stick to the game plan. Okay, you're right, which is why we're gonna figure out a way to still do this with one Electro. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys loved it. All right, make sure to subscribe. More Exodia FDKs coming soon. More Pendulum shenanigans coming soon. And before we go, bro, any uh, shout outs you wanna give? Uh, yeah, shout outs to my team Titan Esports and my sponsor, uh, MetaMets. Nice. Made this nice Dante whole yes, potato yes. play mat. If you guys want a custom design mat, go check them out. Beautiful, guys. Make sure to subscribe. Hope you guys like the video. See you guys next time. Peace. There you have it, boys. Exodia Pendulum FTK. I know you guys loved it. Like I said, you love it or hate it. It's one or the other. It's going to be destroying your meta. Coming to locals near you soon. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure to subscribe. This is a beautiful mat that is going to be given away. At uh, after I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll pick one of you guys at random and give you a gift. You guys this beautiful, beautiful mat. Check out YGO Market down below. They gifted us this mat. Thank you guys so much for watching videos every day. I know I've been loafing, but I'm releasing videos every day, no matter what. So subscribe for more videos. See you guys next video. Peace.